Hey guys, Little Jesus here, and today we're gonna take a look at some Satisfy Nintendo Switch grips and cases. Now, before we get started, I do wanna mention that Satisfy sent these to me for review. However, nobody's paying me to do this video. And actually at the end of this, I'm probably gonna end up giving these to friends and family. Uh, well, because I already own them and I've been using them for years, but they have a bunch of new ones out. And so I thought I'd take a look at them. And like I mentioned, I've been using these for years. As a matter of fact, every time I do a travel video, either to an expo here in the United States, or let's say I go to Japan, people will ask me what grips I take when I'm using my Nintendo Switch or the case that I'm using. And uh, it's because I really do like these. And so these are kind of easy to make a recommendation for. So let's go ahead and start with the cases of which they've got two different sizes, depending on kind of what you're looking for and the type of travel that you're doing. Uh, I have both of these and I actually use both of them in two very different situations. So for instance, here you see the Elite Bundle, which is a much higher case. And the reason for that is, is because this is gonna be if you're going on a long trip and you wanna take more games with you as well as say a power brick. Digging into the case here, there's a lot going on, but I'm gonna start at the bottom. So you see that there is the grip in there. Now I'm gonna get into the details of the grip and why I like them, but for now, just notice that underneath it, there's a space where you can put in something like say a USB charger. And as you can see here, this first flap allows you to put in a bunch of Switch games, but on the bottom side of it is a kind of velvety, soft fabric layer that basically protects your switch when it's in there and I guess could kind of clean it, but uh, yeah, it feels very safe for the switch. And there's a piece of Velcro there that allows you to secure it. The flap above that has a small little zipper pouch right there that you could put something thin in. And then above that are some more slots where you can put even more games in. And then on the top there, you have this big zippered pouch where you can put a ton of stuff in there, including the official Nintendo power brick if you want. And again, this is gonna be overkill for most people if you're just going on day trips, but if you're gonna be doing a lot of traveling or say go overseas, yeah, you're gonna want all this. And then each one of these comes with some oversized thumb pads, which you can use if you prefer. I actually do like them, they're fairly comfortable, as well as a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. And overall, I like the construction of these. Again, I've taken these overseas many times, and it's nice because they're sturdy, but because there's no metal in there, it goes through the metal detectors at the security gates at airports really easily, very quick to open, power on the, the switch, and it gets you right through. So gives you just that right balance of, you know, protecting your switch and also not being too heavy or too bulky. But then Satisfy has these other cases for day trips where you don't necessarily need all the extra space for power bricks and things like that. You just wanna take your switch with you on the bus or you wanna take it to work or school or whatever, just throw it in a backpack. So it's got room in there for the grip and the switch in there as well as, uh, in this case, you can take eight games with you. And it's probably here that I should mention that they have two different sizes of the cases as well as the grips, depending on which switch you have. I just happen to have a full size switch as well as the switch light. And uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind that you'll obviously wanna get the one that is right for you. Moving on to the grips themselves, I've been using these for years. As a matter of fact, when they were first designing these, they reached out to a bunch of YouTubers to get a little bit of feedback. And uh, you see one of the early models there compared to the newer. The older ones didn't have quite as many of those little rubber bumps there. They've added those based on feedback over the last couple of years. Um, it's one of the things I really love about these, these grips here because again, the switches go in there really easily, yet they don't, they don't shake out and it doesn't damage the paint. So they're very smart in their design. Also, if you have a switch, you know that the Joy-Cons or the locations of the thumbsticks are actually off center a little bit. So on the left, it's you know higher as opposed to on the right, it's down lower. And so these grips are designed to be slightly different in your left and right hand. Notice that your left hand is a little bit closer to the edge of it. And then on the right, it pushes out just a tiny bit more to make it a little bit more comfortable. And again, it, you know, for someone like me who, when I play in handheld mode, this is a game changer. It's so comfortable to use these. 
And if you've done any hardcore gaming on the Switch, you know that those fans in there will sometimes kick on. And so another nice and kind of smart thing about these grips is that they don't block any of the vents on the back or the edges as well. Again, it's really important for not damaging your Nintendo Switch. And then another thing I like about these, and it's kind of a small thing, but for whatever reason, I use it all the time. I like how it has those little stands on it and you can stand your Switch vertically. So when I'm not using my Switch and I'm playing in handheld mode, uh, if I put it on the table, I'm always setting it kind of upright like that so I don't damage the screen or somebody doesn't come along and put a drink on it or something like that. So again, just really smart design. And the grips are really sturdy. They don't feel cheap or like somebody just 3D printed them in their garage or something like that. Again, it feels like a very quality product. And it looks like this year they put out a couple new colors. You see this sky blue one here, as well as this kind of foam green looking one. But again, if you end up looking into buying one of these, just keep in mind that there are different sizes depending on whether you have the actual full size Nintendo Switch or the Switch Lite. All right, guys, well, that's a quick review of the Satisfy grips and cases and not really much more to say. I mean, again, I've been using these for years. Most of my friends use them as well. and. Frankly, there's, there's just been no complaints. Uh, the prices depend on what type of switch you have, whether it's the regular or the light, and also what type of case you want. So the grips start around $25 and the cases are around $40. But I'll put a link down in the video description below so you can find out more. All right, guys, well, let me know if you are using a Satisfy grip or case. I know a lot of you were early Kickstarter backers when this was brand new. So I'd love to know what you guys think all these years later. Please let us know in the comments below. As always, I wanna thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing and take care.